Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we're in Quantico. I've been challenged to go inside the battle sponsored by the United States Marine Corps. How cool is this? I was given four months to go from total couch potato gamer to super fit and strong. When I started, I could jog 1.5 miles in about 30 minutes, do one real push-up and three shaky doesn't really count push-ups, a two-minute plank, and absolutely zero pull-ups. So, how far have I come? There are also three other content creators in this experience with me, so I'm not alone. This is my teammate War Owl. He and I make up Team Alpha. And on Team Bravo, who's Chaos and Melanie Mack. Good morning! My name is Mass Sergeant Betts. I'd like to welcome you to Marine Corps Base Quantico. The Marine Corps decided that this was going to be the place where we're going to take potential applicants, screen them okay. to see if they had what it takes to become Marine Corps officers, and then later develop and train them to provide the skills that they need to go out, lead Marines, fight, and win our nation's battles. Over the next few days, we're going to do a few things. We're going to issue you gear, teach you how to wear it, how to use it. We're going to do a little bit of marksmanship, and we're going to transition into Marine Corps tactics. We're going to pit one team against the other to see how well you can apply all of the stuff that you bring to the table, all of the stuff that we've taught you. When you're tired, cold, hungry, worn out, angry, frustrated, right, to see if your mind can stay clear and you can continue to exercise that same discipline that you apply in a virtual world in real life. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to transition to that initial strength test. If you're ready to start, let's get going. Okay. Go. Right. I'm the type of person who likes to know what I'm in for and be prepared, and I'm not at all of that. I'm going to have to be flexible. I'm going to have to adapt. I might have to do some things that make me uncomfortable. As far as the physical fitness portion, I'm feeling pretty ready, I'm feeling pretty confident. I can do this. I think. All right, go ahead and knock the bar. Come to a complete that hand. All right, go ahead, begin. There you go, there you go, pull. You got it, pull. All right, you ready? Ready. Push up. Ready, again. Right. Good job, you got this. All right, look at you, girl. Right. Yes. Six. There you go. Seven. Eight. <laughs> nine. Four tight. Ten. <laughs> Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Eagle. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Nice job. Woo! Good job. I'm a little disappointed that I couldn't do more of a pull-up or even a chin-up. I've been able to, to do a chin-up before, but not being able to do it here is pretty disappointing but I was able to show that I did improve quite a bit with upper body strength with push-ups, and I'm really proud of myself for that. Oh. About halfway through, I started looking at my teammate, War Owl, and I saw he was still up, and we had had a phone call the night before, and we just basically told each other we have each other's backs, and being able to look over at him and see he was still up, gave me more motivation to not give up. Three minutes. Woo! Good job. Ready? Good, buddy. Ready? Oh! I still feel good. I was miserable after the last one. Miserable. I guess I trained well. God, that feels good. 
I'm just really glad that I trained on inclines and declines back home. I trained by doing hill, hill training. So that was really helpful. And I did stairs too. So I feel like my quads could handle the uphill a lot better. I'm really glad I did that. On that last lap, she zoomed in. It was like, <laughs> we're like next to each other. Like, you got this girl. Yeah, that's right. And then on that last lap, she's like, eat my dust. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about what's next. Some very loud gunshots just went off about 30 seconds ago, and uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get closer to them. It's not my natural instinct, but that's what we're gonna be doing today. much brought day one to a close. We were told to get ready for some tactical strategy activities tomorrow and to get a good night's sleep and eat a good dinner. I'm very ready and willing to do both of those things. Another early morning, but this time somewhere else. You can see here behind me the UTC Urban Training Center. How you feel? You feel confident that you can clear room now? Um. <laughs> I don't know if confidence is the right word, but we're still learning and I'm looking forward to trying this out in different variations. Yeah, that I'm trying like to focus as much as I can and take in all this information. Exactly. Do the best job. There's a lot of things to focus on, so yeah, it's a, it's a learning experience right now. That first person has like the best essay of what's going on in that room because like they did like basically a mini recon of the room so generally like regardless of rank or anything that guy's gonna like take take control for that room there's not like certain words you have to say you just okay. gotta communicate a plan okay any way you can okay then i got front <laughs> you go back okay great <laughs> doorway up on the right good communication so speaking on the, the support piece, before this I was a machine gunner. Okay. And, and a lot of times, you know, we would be stuck in a two-story building in a window, mm -hmm. and we would be overwatching each window or each building oh. and whatnot for, you know, the Marines that are going in. So yeah. whenever you hear that suppressive fire, that why don't, why don't, why don't, that's machine cue for machine guns to pick up the rate of fire. So we're hammering whatever objective that we're hitting. I took pride in that because you know, I'm protecting yeah. my, my brothers that are going, brothers and sisters going into that building. Sure. drill for real and uh, I gotta be honest I didn't know what was going on half the time Pretty much finished all of our activities for the day. We must have run that drill, it felt like 30 times, but it was maybe more like 12. I'm pretty tired, this gear is heavy, and I've been running around in it for the last five hours, but I got enough of a taste 
of the experience to be so excited for tomorrow and to see how we do and to see if Team Alpha really succeeds or if Team Bravo is gonna come through and surprise us all. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be awesome. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Guilty objective one is C60. So our defensive plan worked. We declared that we were the winners uh, yes! due to them Woo! taking more than like 70% of their uh, squad's casualties. Keeping track of this, understand that if we look at it from the standpoint of teams, we are actually dead even right now with Alpha Group with two wins, two losses, and Bravo Group, two wins, two losses. So we have to adjudicate. There has to be one final round. And going off that, Alpha won the original phase one competition. You are going to get to choose whether your guys working together are going to get the defense or the offense. But before you tell me the decision you're going to make, I want to say that we do have one overall winner that is undefeated between the four of you, and that is you, Bree, with two wins. So a win oh. in the defense and a win in the offense. Oh. So use that nice. uh, experience and wisdom you have gained throughout the last four hours. Anything in particular you want to say? One person covering in case they come around back then at least. So we're going to have people on the exterior looking at the door. What's the plan so far? Okay. I'm, I'm on first deck. You're on, on first the, deck. On the they're all in, you can come around and flank. Um, there's also going to be two more positions here from when they first come in. Cool. Um, there's going to be one on the roof for communication and eyes, and then the rest of us, I think, on the second floor. I like it. It's a good plan. Alpha group taking the uh, the win on that one with a well prepared uh, defensive engagement year area within uh, the actual buildings. Good afternoon. My name is Colonel Warren Cook. On behalf of the Commanding General of Marine Corps Recruiting Command, I want to welcome you to the National Museum of the Marine Corps. It's a real honor to be here with you today at the closing ceremonies of your week inside the battle.
It has been such an honor to be a part of this experience. I've learned so much. I learned how incredibly difficult it is to make the right decision in a chaotic situation, but I discovered I'm more capable than I thought I was. This experience brought me closer to understanding what Marines go through, but it still pales in comparison to their personal experience. I am eternally grateful to them for sharing their stories. And that's officially all for my four month long Inside the Battle Challenge sponsored by the United States Marine Corps. Unbelievable experience. I'm so grateful to have been a part of it. And I'm so grateful that I got to share it with all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please remember to subscribe to this little channel right here, Strange Rebel Gaming, so you don't miss the next video. That's all. I love you all. Bye!